what is it like for you um, to travel the world and have all these adventures? Is it hard work? What skills do you use? Uh, it, was, it was a dream since I was a young boy. I have seen the first balloons uh, since I was four or six years old because I come from Buchbeweiz. There is also the beginning of the Austrian balloon history in 1976. And my parents' house was in the near of that. The balloons overfly every day uh, our house. And the biggest dream was to be a pilot any time, but it was not so easy at this time. And one of the other dream was to fly competitions all over the world. And it's so crazy and beautiful to fly in different countries with different cultures. And this is the first one that we are here in this region, but we definitely will come back anytime for a competition or so. How was this competition compared to others? I guess it was very small, but was it um, like well organized or what constructive criticism could you give or feedback? for the future, to make it better? I think uh, it was a great competition. Uh, we have not so many tasks like in other countries because uh, the competitions go much more technical with, with uh, flying targets at the air or something else. And I think the way should going back to easy, easier competition flying with targets and that, that we not uh, should fly three hours or so on because you need a lot of luck when you have so many tasks and I think this is a good way to going back to the, to the roots for competition flying and when I talk to other pilots all over the world uh, they say the same and uh, this region is also cool, a little bit dusty, not so in Austria <laughs> And the competition director is, is uh, a brave man to, to let us fly in this uh, area because I have heard it's a military zone and so on. But they do a great job with the weather, with the organization and the people here are so friendly and we will come back, definitely. That's very good. Do you have a question maybe? Uh, no, it's... Uh, uh, it's uh, very interesting to see somebody to take part first time in air chain because uh, uh, in my career was in the past so now I'm very happy to see new generations uh, come into air chain -ish. and our goal also in, at the foundation that want to call younger generations to help and continue because uh, this museum is for the future mm. to show the young people that that was the beginning and they can continue from here to the future so uh, i hope that you can be also the part of this so that's only a wish <laughs> thank yeah. you and uh, what was your um, what are you most proud of of all the competitions or what was the biggest adventure uh, here the last days and <laughs> the, the win of this competition <laughs> for sure uh, no we you won yes oh congratulations we, we, with my team <laughs> congratulations <laughs> no, team we can only win That's with cool. a good team no we cannot uh, win it alone we are nothing with, with without a good team yeah the, the thing is um, I fly every day normally because I do, it's my job ballooning in Austria and I fly really all over the world. Uh, it's hard to say what's, what's the best moment. The best moment for a competition pilot is every time when the marker is at the middle mm -hmm. and you do no mistakes so it's hard to say. And I have this week a marker drop uh, um, uh, at uh, 20 centimeter and you cannot be happier <laughs> so yes that's that's a, a good moment as a competition pilot and also what I can say uh, Saga Japan hmm. uh, I was over there uh, at the last world and this is a, a, a place for competition pilots it's, it's amazing when you come into the, the goal area 
there are over 100,000 visitors, they're crying. Like uh, when you uh, see a soccer game and you uh, do a goal and uh, you, you have a shower on, 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 <laughs> on it. It's, uh, Saga It's one of the most best places all over the world. You should anytime fly when you are a competition pilot. So it's, it's, it's my opinion. Yeah, we only saw the pictures, but it's crazy. And the audience, we heard about that too. It's so good that they can actually collect all the people and the audience mm -hmm. is there, because that gives you a huge boost. Yeah. And they it's have a also boost. a really big uh, balloon museum. Uh, it's it's, it's uh, so big and so amazing. Uh, it's, it's much more newer things inside, but uh, they have a balloon in the museum and it's it's a big house and everything is new. I, I don't know since since the last ten years I think. You should see it anytime. It's it's crazy. Mm -hmm. You have a balloon simulator, you can fly with with a simulator to the goals and so on. Yeah. But the, the, the whole city and all the people they live for competition ballooning over there. And and they have big sponsors also. Honda, Toshiba and they had it's easier when you have so uh, a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Yeah, thank you. So see you again here. Thanks for the invitation.